Unless the European Union is reformed, its very existence could be threatened. The message from the French president. In a speech at Sorbonne University, Emmanuel Macron set out his vision for overhauling the bloc and says only change will stop growing Euroscepticism and the rise of anti-EU parties. This idea that Europe can flourish has not disappeared, even though it's fragile. Globalization has had an impact. We need to confront ideas which pretend to be new solutions, such as nationalism, protectionism, segregation. These ideas have so many times before threatened Europe. They pretend to be legitimate because they exploit people's fears. For too long, we have ignored their power. Macron said issues such as security, refugees and globalization have divided Europeans and Brexit's been a challenge. To reverse the trend, he called for more EU collaboration in defence, migration and education. But the focus of his reforms is the Eurozone. He's calling for the creation of a Eurozone budget and ministry to finance common projects such as infrastructure. For Macron's EU vision to become a reality, he needs the support of other EU leaders, and in particular, Germany. It's why he's delivering this speech just two days after the German election. He wants his reforms to be firmly on the agenda as Chancellor Angela Merkel begins her coalition talks. Merkel shares Macron's desire to reform Europe. She's open to a small Eurozone budget and a ministry. But who she partners with in the new German coalition government will determine how far she can go. The Liberal FDP party opposes the French president's agenda, saying it will lead to Germany bailing out weaker countries. From Macron's perspective on Eurozone reform, um, the Liberals are quite sceptical on a lot of the issues that he wants to reform. So they will be a more difficult partner. On the other hand, we have the Green Party, who is staunchly pro-European, um, a bit more left-leaning, closer to Macron maybe on that front as well. And they could counterbalance to a certain extent the Liberals in Germany. Outside the Sorbonne, students protested against some of Macron's domestic reforms, saying he's ignoring poorer sections of French society. A reminder that, like the German Chancellor, the French president still has much work ahead if he's to convince those at home and abroad that his ideas are in their common interest. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.